Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got another tip video, money play video for you out of some gameplay. I'm not going to be showing the entire gameplay, although a lot of this I will be putting out in the future. So uh, this is going to be just highlights of me using some really good plays so I don't have to do the whole the old practice mode thing. Uh, before I get into that, though, I just want to let you guys know I did hear it's a free-to-play weekend for, for this game. So if you don't have Madden 21, you can download it. I'm sure there's advertisements probably all over Xbox and PlayStation and whatnot. Other than that, though, if, before I start this video if you guys could hook me up with a like just scroll down a little bit it takes two seconds and it really helps out my channel and my videos other than that if you like what you see make sure to stick around by hitting the subscribe button so starting off this formation is out of the empty base flex although i'm pretty sure a lot of these plays you can find in any empty formation that looks similar uh the plays are pretty much right here the verticals the qb draw and the middle high low i got a fourth play i'll show towards the end but these are pretty much the three plays i'm going to use the most so start off with the verticals because this is a pretty basic play uh, this is a good cover two beater on the right side. This is pretty much how I would set it up right here. This type of route, typically because of this little arc, has a has an outside release. So the reason that this will work against cover two and like a regular streak won't is because the cornerback can't typically redirect this receiver back towards the safety. And then all you really have to do is bullet and pass lead outside once you get past the cornerback. And this is a really big play against cover two. But this is pretty much a play that I use in a lot of different ways. Like if I see an obvious man defense like I have here, uh, I'm just going to go to this play. And I'll typically put the, the slot receivers on both sides into uh, in the, in the zig routes. The reason that I do uh, zig routes on both sides is because it's you really can't... The man coverages don't cover zig routes really well. But if a user were, was to you know recognize that I'm doing this, they could easily use one of them, but they can't use them both. So on the next couple of plays in this series, I don't know if my opponent's in an all-out man blitz or what I'm looking at here, but it has to be an all-out man blitz because of how ridiculous these, these safeties are. Uh, I, on this next play here, I'd only put one on a zig, and the coverage is actually pretty tight, which is that's what, also another reason why I put them both on a zig because it can be 50-50. You're not always going to get – not every receiver is quick enough or has a, has a good enough short route running like that particular receiver obviously did not to beat it consistently. So that's why, like I said, once again, having them both – in that is going to be best although ultimately i find that the tight end being so far away from the safety is why that's going to have more success so typically the safeties won't be down right in the receiver's face and that's going to give me more separation so that makes the most sense this is something that i use quite a lot if somebody's running a lot of man coverage doing this will make them stop it's not, or you're just going to walk them down the field, which you're typically not going to want. So ultimately, though, the best play in this is the middle high low. That's going to be the play that I run next. You just want to make sure that you have your fastest guy right here because that's going to be the most important route, the slot route right here. Um, because the next two plays, this play and the next play I'm going to show you, that's going to be the home run route. So, um, so right here, like I said, we're going right back to it. This is a good man cover two play. It's a good man one play. It's a good uh, cover two zone play. Uh, you know, some of the more popular defenses like what I'm seeing right now. So this is a man cover two. You can tell by the fact that uh, there's there's a man alignment on all the receivers. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to run this play one time. You can see on this side, uh, nobody really has any separation at all. Uh, but on this side, look at the release that this guy gets. I mean, he just totally makes that dude jump. And we get an outside release of like five to ten yards. Uh, and you can take that up the sideline. I mean, he tackled me there, but you can get gone with that. If you have enough, uh, enough space, I mean, that's something that uh, you can really get a house call out of against cover two man which is pretty rare so on the next play i mean you can run this a multitude of ways you can run this like like i'm running it now where i motion across the tight end and put him on a streak in that scenario i'm gonna have to put the, the x route here in a smoke uh, to keep that cover two cornerback down but you need something pulling that cover to uh safety back and then you see right here we get a big play although he still kind of made a play kept from being a touchdown like i said speed's important i don't necessarily have a ton of speed on this team right now then when I go to flip the play, run it again, uh, I see that my opponent tries to switch out of that cover two because obviously I'm beating him with it pretty easily. So he switches over to a cover three, tries the base line to hide it, uh, but ultimately we know this is a cover three. So against cover three, I'm just going to make a slightly different uh, variation of it where I'm going to basically streak this tight end. This tight end is going to get open uh, right in the seam. The slant's really just a check down. Uh, but right here you can see the safety doesn't have enough time to get over to take that away. It's not a one-play touchdown like a play I'm going to show you in a little bit, uh, which is a one-play touchdown against cover three but it's still a good play it's still a good variation so here we have that man covered two once again i catch my opponent sleeping a little bit as he's trying to uh to man align and we get another big play uh but ultimately even if he would have been there 
I could have just made the same adjustment. I would have had the same success against cover two man. But uh, when people are switching defenses, you can see how easy that could be a big play as well. So ultimately, like I said, you really need some sort of streak pulling that receiver back right here. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run this without that streak. I'm gonna just have this. This. Uh, I'm gonna have done here in a smoke. And you're gonna see it's spotty right here. I mean, this safety had a pretty good game. I don't know who's got playing safety out there, but ultimately it's really spotty if you don't have something pulling that uh, that safety back. So that's something you have to keep in mind. That's gonna be one of the more important adjustments. So I mean, you can have success. Like right here, this looks like I'm not sure if this is a cover two or a cover three. To be honest with you, I think it's a cover two based off of the fact that I'm at the 35 and his cornerbacks are at the 40. So if he was coming out in a uh, something that he wanted to look like a cover two, because you can see that single high safety definitely shifts. Um, I don't know if it's because the cornerback played too far down that it got passed, but it looks like it can also home run cover three, which is pretty rare. So I think it only did that based off of what I have, whatever pre-snap adjustments he was making, but it's something to keep an eye on. I'm always watching that route first. So the next play, uh, this is something that I, I make my adjustment for Zig, and I didn't even notice, but the, it looks like the A route's completely gone. So if this is a cover four quarters or something like that, which is probably what it is, or another weird adjustment, uh, that's something I didn't even see until I was doing this. So I have either haven't fully labbed this against uh, defenses like that, um, but there's still a lot of wrinkles left to be found. Now, the next play I probably run the most is the QB draw, which is, you know, it's just something to keep your opponent honest. If I come into the box and I see basically a five on five or even sometimes less, if it's a man, a man alignment, sometimes it'll be four defensive linemen and have an additional blocker. That's when it's best to run this QB draw. I mean, if you have a, a mobile quarterback, of course, um, but that's something that, like I said, I'll usually, this is a pass information. I'll usually use that just to mix it up. And then the last play is the strong curl. Now, this is a cover three play. You can also have success against man and cover two, but ultimately I, I just started using this because I needed a better cover three play than the, the play that I've been showing, the middle high low. So all I'm really going to do is motion this receiver in, put him on a streak, put the B route on a smart route because that's going to shorten it. It's going to make it a more explosive route. Then you can see I'm basically just streaking the other receivers, giving myself a check down with the RB route. This first play, it's either a cover one or a cover three, and it looks like an obvious cover one. Could be a cover three match, I guess. A lot of times they'll turn and run with the cover when it's a cover three match. Uh, but ultimately, my guess is that was a cover one. Later in that same drive, I'm going to run the exact same play. Uh, as you can see, my opponent here, um, you know, I, I, I think this person, he looks like he switches to a cover two. So a cover two, I don't have to really change the play or make any additional variations. I'm just going to smoke the X route against the cover two. And then that Y route is going to get open outside of the cover two as well. Traditionally, I mean, it would have been nice to motion that, that uh, tight end across and streak him again. Um, but it, it's something that you don't have to do. You can see, obviously, it beats cover two as well. Um, and there's a bunch of different adjustments you can make. So last play here, like I said, I'm guessing that this is a either a cover one man or a cover three once again. Um, I, I mean, the the cornerback didn't follow. He just kind of they kind of shifted. So it makes me think this is a cover three match. And then sure enough, you can see how this X route here uh, can be a big play against that as well. So like I said, that's a play that if I had more footage of it, it's way, it's capable of way more. But I wanted to put this series out. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys like this type of video uh, with gameplay, not in practice mode, let me know in the comment section with the like button. And I'll do more like that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.